the best restaurants in Santa Monica. There are two types of people who live in LA, Westsiders, and everyone else. The unofficial capital of the West Side is Santa Monica, a part of town that's happy to lean into every insult you can throw at it. Sure, there are tourists everywhere, and it's populated almost entirely by people who have time to brunch on weekdays, but there's no denying that it's also home to some very good restaurants. Even in the shadows of tourist traps like the Third Street Promenade and the Pier, exciting and innovative spots continue to open and thrive. Here are the best of the best in LA's city by the sea. Number 6. Kobe's. Located off Main Street, Kobe's offers pan-Southeast Asian cuisine and natural wines in a cozy neighborhood setting. The grandma chic indoor dining room, floral wallpaper and antique furniture, and the lush outdoor patio incorporates plenty of greenery and vintage lampshades. The all-around excellent Southeast Asian-inspired dishes sets the restaurant apart by far, a characterization that extends to weekend brunch, when Kaya French toast and chicken rice porridge take the place of eggs benedict and build your own omelets. At dinner, be sure to order the raw kampachi in coconut dressing imparts the nuanced island flavors of a Polynesian oda, IKA and the black sugar boba topped Thai tea pudding. Number 5. Birdie G's. Since opening in 2019, the newest member of the Rustic Canyon restaurant family has become one of the most interesting eateries on the west side. Named for the chef's daughter and grandmother, Birdie G's serves market-driven new American food with Eastern European flourishes out of a large, industrial space at art gallery hotspot Bergamot Station. A matzo ball soup using carrot miso adds an umami twist on a Jewish classic, while their must-order lamb, a la Salas, inspired by Rafi's place in Glendale, comes to the table on a thin bed of impossibly crispy rice flavored with dill and other Persian spices. For dessert, Birdie G's Strawberry Rose Petal Pie overhauls the oft-ridiculed mid-century American Jello dessert by incorporating hibiscus and rose, flavors more suitable to a 21st-century dining palette. Number 4. Shunji Japanese Cuisine. Now relocated to Santa Monica from its longtime chili bowl-shaped home on Pico Boulevard, this Westside sushi bar run by the eponymous chef and his wife Yuko Sakurai offers a streamlined, exclusive approach to top-notch sushi in the form of a $250 omakase, one of the best in the city's upper sushi echelons. Every night of service, after a brief selection of Keizeki-style appetizers, Nakao breaks out a wood block of sliced fish, each brilliant, shining row ready to be prepared for each guest. The luxurious selection always satisfies, as does Sakurai's ultra-refined sake selection. Number 3. Bay Cities. The godmother at Bay Cities is one of those dishes that you have to try before you can really call yourself an Angelino. Piled high with salami, mortadella, prosciutto, kappa, ham, provolone cheese, mild or spicy peppers and served on freshly baked, house-made bread, it's a sandwich that draws lines almost every hour of the day. There is a shortcut, though, and you can take it by ordering from Bay City's website and picking up your colossal sandwich instead. Inside, a gourmet market offers Italian specialty foods, like fresh pasta, olive oil and cheeses. But really, you're going to come here and not get a sandwich? Forget about it. Number 2. Pasjoli. Located on Santa Monica's Main Street, this traditionally inclined French bistro elevates classics like onion soup and beef tartare to new to casual LA. Heights of fine dining. Chef David Barron even possesses an old-school French duck press for an artery clogging, show-stopping traditionally prepared duck for two, which includes roasted duck breast, crispy duck skin salad, and duck leg bread pudding doused in drippings combined with cognac and red wine. Prepared tableside, it's worth ordering at least once, although there is no bad dish on the menu at Pasjoli, where the stupidly good foie de poulet à la Strasbourgeoise delights even more experienced restaurant critics. Number 1. Cassia. Once known for Spice Table in the early 2010s, Chef Brian Ng and managing partner Kim Lu Ng have firmly established themselves in the upper echelons of Santa Monica dining with their upscale Southeast Asian restaurant, Cassia. Drawing inspiration from across the region, the husband and wife duo has managed to keep its dinner menu weekend destination worthy. Take, for example, Cassia's Kaya Toast, one of the only renditions across all of LA served with a soft egg, 
it's a sweet beginning to a dinner that might include Indonesian beef rendang bathed in creamy coconut curry, served with a side of clay oven bread, or a charcuterie fried rice combining Louisiana tasso and Chinese sausage. Note, their Vietnamese coffee pudding topped with whipped cream is worth saving the extra room for dessert.